بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحباب let's begin to prioritize our da'wah with what the Quran prioritizes this is very important that we understand what does Allah want from us what should we be calling people to what should be we invite people to uh, with regards to Islam, Muslim and non-Muslim, what should we call our Muslim brothers and sisters back to, and what should we call non-Muslims to, what should we invite them to? Yes, it's very important we have social ills in the community. Yes, we have difficulty with our youth. Uh, we have to acknowledge that we have problems. We have problems with gender um, uh, actualization or people realizing what their gender is. We have problems with uh, uh, drug problems, drug addiction. We have issues with people leaving Islam. Yes, we have these issues. But these issues, in fact, Ayyullah Habbatil Fillah, are not issues necessarily unique to us. That during the time of the Prophet, alayhi salatu was salam, which is the original call that we want to be concerned with, although it was the same call for all the messengers, alayhi salatu was salam, they dealt with uh, alcoholism. They dealt with a zina. They dealt with burying their children alive, so they had social problems and social ills they had to cure. But what did Allah give them as a priority? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al kareem wa ma khalaqtu al jinn wa al yabudun. I've not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Letting us know what? Our purpose in life is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the ultimate goal and purpose. Rectifying all of those social ills comes to actualizing that purpose. The more that we actualize Tawheed, we know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. We worship Him and Him alone. We don't worship the great. We don't worship the saints. We don't worship the dead. We don't uh, supplicate to, to Sheikh so-and-so, to Abdul Qadir Jailani. We don't, uh, to Mesik be this tariqah, this Sufi tariqah. We don't consider ourselves marid seeking uh, help from the awliya, the living and the dead. The more we actualize Tawheed, it will rectify those social ills. How is this the case? Am I just making false claims? How could this possibly be? Because this is the example of Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he rectified those ills in their society by Tawheed. He, what did he call his, uh, his sahaba to? Radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and, and, and those around him. To what for, for 13 years? To Tawheed. To building their iman. Because the more you actualize Tawheed, the more you will avoid the sins. The more you actualize Tawheed. We're not just saying it on our tongues. We're not just saying Allah is one. We're not just actualizing Rububiyyah. But we're saying al uluhiyah that, that you're, you're, you're practicing that Tawheed then that means you're practicing Islam. That means you're practicing Iman. You're increasing your Iman. You're avoiding those munkarat. That's rectification of those social ills. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ الرَّسُولِ لِنَّعْبُدُ اللَّهِ وَجْتَنِهُ تَعْبُودِ We've sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid the ta'bud, avoid those things, those things, those deities, worship besides Allah. Again, tawheed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prioritizes what? Tawheed. What's a priority from the Quran? These are Quranic verses. It's Tawheed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, and your Lord has commanded you to not worship anyone except Him and to your parents. Be, be kind and just. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prioritizes what? Tawheed. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ لَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed that you worship him and him alone and he negated that you committed shirk with him. And along with that showing us the importance of righteousness with our parents, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala coupled that with tawheed. Allahu Akbar. وَقَالَ اللَّهُ تَعْبَرَكَ وَتَعَلَى فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ قُلْ تَعَالُوا وَاتْلُوا مَا حَرَمَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَيْكَ مَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِي شَيْنَ Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the Qur'an, prioritizing tawheed, prohibiting shirk. That's our priority as a community. وَقَالَ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَلَى فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَعْبُدُ اللَّهُ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِي شَيْنَ And worship Allah alone and do not associate partners with Him. Again, this is for our brother Nu'man Ali Khan, because this is what his da'wah, he seems to have some ishqal about this. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prioritizes what? Wa'budullah wa la tushriku bi shayin. That's the priority of the Quran. This is the kalam of Allah. It's the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us, affirming for us what? Wa'budullah wa la tushriku bi shayin. Uh, Allah is affirming for us tawheed, to worship Him and Him alone. Wa la tushriku bi shayin. And He's making nafi. He's negating that you commit shirk with Him. Again, that's our priority. And those other things will come. Let's just end with one thing. Now let's go to one hadith. And there's so many more ayats we could continue on. One hadith. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said to Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu muqal. Ya Mu'adh, tadri ma haq Allah al ibadi wa ma haq al ibadi al Allah. Oh Mu'adh, do you know the haq of Allah upon a servant and the haq of, and, and the right of the servant upon Allah? And then Mu'adh said, Allah wa Rasulu wa alam. قال حق الله على عباده يعبدوا ولا تشركوا به شيء وقال عبادي على الله لا يعذب من لا يشركوا به شيء الله uh, the prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام asked Muadh bin Jabal do you know the right of Allah upon his servants and the right of the servants upon Allah he said Allah and his messenger know best he said the right of Allah is that you worship him and him alone and don't associate partners and the right of the servant is that he will not punish those who worship him and him alone isn't that sufficient Allah subhanahu wa uh, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam also said, prioritized in our da'wah, look at the Prophet's da'wah, alayhi salatu wasalam, qal, to Mu'adh, uh, when he was going to Yemen, going to the people of Ahl al-Kitab, inna kata'ti kumil min Ahl al-Kitab, fa yukun awla ma yad'u milay ila shahadatin la ilaha illallah. Verily you're going to go to the people of the book, means Jews and Christians, make sure the first thing you call them to is to worship Allah alone. That's our priority. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq.